Recently, an employee of Facebook came to us with what he said was an internal Facebook document. Facebook says the document is, quote, not authentic. Our Facebook insider stands by his claim that it is. We believe, at the very least, there are many questions about this document and Facebook's actions after learning we had acquired it, which includes retaliation against at least one Facebook employee for document security. Facebook now needs to answer for some of these questions. Facebook is saying this document is not real. In fact, their spokesperson says that, quote, this is not an authentic document. Your response to that? It obviously from an authentic source, which leads me to believe it is an authentic document. Maybe the people who are speaking do not know of it, but it is definitely there. Can you speak a little more specifically to how you obtained it? Like, in, in other words, it was observed on the server or so there was some type of uh, email exchange that occurred? Yes. Um, I happened to obtain it through um, email that was sent, um, that happened to also be uh, sent to me as well, in a way, and I received it that way. Yes. So I can't tell exactly what department it had or what it came from. But uh, it's, it's addressed definitely to human resources. It was addressed to human resources? Yes. And it was from uh, an email marked asterisk at facebook.com? Yes. So, one more time, do, do, you, do you believe that this, is a, this document is an authentic Facebook internal document? I believe it is. Okay. I do. Um, I, I have no reason to not believe it. From what I've looked at it, it looks authentic to me based on other documents that are around. Uh, I'm not sure what else, where else it could have been or where else it could have come from. Even what you just said, we'll, we'll blur everything, make sure you're protected. Um, so what happened today it, with the, the thing you just showed me? What did they do to you on, in that screenshot? They, they suspended you? Tell me about that. Yes. Um, so initially, uh, I went in, I was able to get the, um, to try and confirm the documents. After I looked into it, I was able to see that um, I no longer had access to the system. I reached out to the IT department to see what was going on. Um, they did not respond to me, but I did receive an email from an HR contact point shortly after uh, informing me that my access had been suspended to the system due to a document security issue. Did they suspend more accounts than just you today? Yes, six others. Six other people? Why, why those? Why did they do that? Why, why more than just one? I'm not sure. Tell me about how you came upon this document. In my normal course of work, it happened to come across my desk. The highly troubling entries in the leaked document are found on page six. Quote, when hiring for HR positions, it's important to prioritize H-1B visa workers. The second item, quote, priority may be given to H-1B applicants from China and Korea. So Steve, assuming this document is a legitimate Facebook document, how would you characterize it overall from a legal perspective? Well, James, I think it raises serious concerns under federal and state anti-discrimination law specifically as it would relate to discriminating based on national origin. I've seen the, the, the destruction and the damage that this uh, H-1B visa issue has caused. Living in the Bay Area, there is a very large portion of homeless. These are Americans with degrees and jobs that no longer have these jobs and have been replaced by um, H-1B visa workers. This has to stop. Someone needs to do something. Facebook is one of the behemoths of big tech. The company employs nearly 45,000 people and its estimated worth is just under $700 billion. That's billion with a B. Today, we expose serious potential illegal policies inside the social media giant that should concern every American citizen from coast to coast, especially considering the U.S. unemployment level is the highest since the Great Depression. Meet Mr. X. He is the latest brave insider to come to Project Veritas with a shocking story and the confidential Facebook document exposing it. Tell me about 
how you came upon this document. Um, in my normal course of work, it happened to come across my desk, and uh, I noticed it, and, and, and I sort of read over it and came to, came to the knowledge of it that way. What bothers you most about this document? Um, the fact that it, there's so much um, that is asked to be kept secret um, bothers me extensively. Um, I think that if there's forces that are making decisions, uh, people have a right to know if those, especially if those decisions affect them. This is the Facebook document the insider gave us. It is emphatically labeled confidential and is titled Diversity Initiative. How certain are you that this is a actual legitimate Facebook document? I myself uh, believe it is um, quite legitimate and uh, I'm very certain. You're very certain? Yes. The summary of the document is a textbook example of corporate political correctness. Quote, advancing toward inclusion and diversity has always been a staple at Facebook. However, as a company, we know we can do better. The following is an outline of various initiatives you can take on as human resources professions to increase diversity and inclusion in the workplace, unquote. That sounds great, unless, of course, those initiatives are illegal. So, Steve, assuming this document is a legitimate Facebook document, how would you characterize it overall from a legal perspective? Well, James, I think it raises serious concerns under federal and state anti-discrimination law specifically as it would relate to discriminating based on national origin. What attorney Stephen Klein is referring to is page six of the memo, quote, H-1B processes, unquote. H-1B visas allow U.S. employers to temporarily hire foreign workers in specialty occupations. The program was intended to help employers who cannot find the skilled workers they need in the United States. For years, the program has been criticized for allowing companies to outsource American jobs in our own backyard and underpay the foreign employees brought in to replace them. The highly troubling entries in the leaked document are found on page six, quote, when hiring for HR positions, it's important to prioritize H-1B visa workers, and this will stimulate the process of diversification of the workplace, unquote. Although not mandatory, we recognize that the priority of H-1B applicants in favor of American applicants is for the greater good of company culture. Uh, that's simply not uh, what the uh, H-1B process was ever meant to, to stand for, and it certainly is not a loophole to get around uh, federal and state anti-discrimination law. The second item, quote, priority may be given to H-1B applicants from China and Korea to foster larger communities of diverse workers at Facebook. You know, if this is in fact Facebook's policy, it's a pretty clear-cut policy in this document that there's going to be discrimination not just against Americans based on their national origin, but also even within the H-1B process itself. What Klein and other lawyers we spoke with say is the policy is stated, quote, applicants from China and Korea, unquote, may be prioritized is just blatantly illegal. You have another portion of this document that not only is it discriminating you know, against Americans or suggesting a policy that does that, it's also even within the H-1B process saying that applicants from China and Korea will be prioritized to foster larger communities of diverse workers at Facebook. So does that, does that violate federal employment law? Yeah, I think that under the federal, again, if this is being actually implemented against uh, Facebook applicants from the United States, uh, you have problems under both the Civil Rights Act and under the Immigration and Nation uh, Nationality Act. But again, that doesn't permit the idea that someone is going to be passed over who's otherwise qualified uh, based on uh, their, their national origin. Does this also violate California employment law? California employment law really parallels the Federal Civil Rights Act in a lot of important respects. Our Facebook insider says he came forward because he knows firsthand the real impact and damage to Americans that these reckless and cavalier initiatives have on American workers. Um, I've seen the, the, the destruction and the damage that this uh, H-1B visa issue has caused. Living in the Bay Area, 
there is a very large portion of homeless. And within that homeless, there's a very large portion of working homeless. Um, that are, These are Americans with degrees and jobs that no longer have these jobs and have been replaced by um, H-1B visa workers. I know several people who were invited into work. Um, they were given 60 days. And the first 30 days, they had someone shadow them, and the next 30 days, someone trained them, and then they were then released. Um, and I've seen that happen uh, within the company, and I've seen, I know several people in different other tech companies where it's happened to them. And so it's, it's happening on a large scale. It's causing a spike in uh, homelessness, a spike in unemployment. Um, and it, it's damaging overall, and I feel that this has to stop. Someone needs to do something. What are the penalties if in fact Facebook was found guilty of uh, violating these laws? At least as far as the as Civil Rights Act and, and California uh, anti-discrimination laws are concerned, these are complaint-driven laws. Not only are damages available, attorney fees available, uh, but, all, but, but moreover, there may be forced changes to company culture as part of a settlement. Steve, is there anything else you want to add maybe from the memo you wrote or anything else I didn't touch upon as it pertains to the document? No, it's, it's again, a pretty clear cut. It's a very problematic document through and through. If this is actual policy that's being implemented at Facebook, this should raise concerns among people applying to Facebook. It should raise concerns to employees within Facebook who feel like they might be passed over for promotions or other opportunities. Mr. X, let me ask you this question. If another insider were to ask you, well, should I go to Project Veritas, what would you tell them? I would tell them yes. Um, I believe uh, that they have the resources to assist you and take confidentiality quite seriously. And um, they will listen if, if no one else will. Um, you can find uh, Project Veritas to be a break from that and, and not a massive not you know, a place where the tech companies don't have their hand in or their reach, where you can actually be heard and, and, and voice your, 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 your truth. Mr. X, like the other brave insiders who have come to us, ask only two things from us, that we report honestly the facts they expose and that we will have their backs. Trust me, hear me, don't doubt me, we will. Veritas Tips at protonmail.com. I decided to wear the camera because I didn't see any other option because I, I noticed that I was in a very unique position in space and time to just do something to protect the Republic. To me, there's no other option. Like, I could go through life and I could live in the comforts of life and I could go on for 80 years and then make money do the formula of life, and then I'll just fall to ashes. And I think that's how a lot of people live their lives. This is something that no matter what happens, no matter what I lose, it'll mean something after I'm gone. I had every incentive in the world to stay at the company and just click the paycheck. But I could never live with myself knowing that if Google was able to implement the plans that they were planning. I feel that when I'm coming and, and explaining what Google was doing, this is an act of atonement, okay, to make my conscience clear. I've seen the, the, the destruction and the damage that this uh, H-1B visa issue has caused. Living in the Bay Area, there is a very large portion of homeless. These are Americans with degrees and jobs that no longer have these jobs and have been replaced by um, h one visa workers. This has to stop. Someone needs to do something. Hey Andy, this is James O'Keefe with the Veritas. Do you have 60 seconds? How's it going? Hey there. Um, I, I, I know that uh, we've given a comment to, to Megan on my team. It's just that we have a source in, in the company who uh, in, inside Facebook, I actually saw this on a server. If there is anything more you can provide me to, to help me sort of run it down internally, I'm happy to do that. But, but uh, if, if you can't, then, then the comment stands. Is the diversity in, uh, board not a real thing inside Facebook? Like, it, it, here's the thing: if you can, if there are any more details that you can share, I'm happy to, to try and run it down. Here's here's James. Hi, James. I'm a little, I'm sorry to become 
extremely concerned. I just got a phone call from an unknown number, and the person on the line basically just said to me that they know that it was me, and that the document was not legitimate, and they want me to say that it was not, and to retract what I said. Is that right? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't think I should retract what I said, but I'm really concerned at this point. I don't know what's going on. Tell, tell, tell me, the, did you know the name of the person? No, it was an unknown number, and it was very uncomfortable. What did they say exactly? They said, this is I said, yes. They said, hi. We're aware that you've shared some documents. The yeah, those documents were not legitimate. You need to recant, you said. And I said, is that so? I think they are. And they said, they're not. We informed you that you should definitely recant those. And that was it. Really? 